Let's pause, rewind, and think about this for just a second. Taking Cambry snowmobiling today, it's going to be her first time in a Cybertruck and her first time on a fully electric Taiga snowmobile. I treated myself to two of the Nomad Performance Editions without knowing if they fit in the Rivian, the Ford Lightning, or the Cybertruck. Normally, snowmobiles fit in the back of full-size trucks just fine, but the bed on this Cybertruck is a little bit wonky. The bed on the Cybertruck has a different dimension on the bottom than it does on the top level, and I'll show you what I mean. That back edge right there slants upward. So if we measure the base of the Cybertruck, we have exactly six foot one inches. And coming up here to the top of the slope, we have exactly five feet six inches. So it's a very unique shape. It's narrow at the bottom width wise with four feet two inches. And then at the top of the bed, about four feet 10 inches. So it's weirdly shaped on every angle. But that might be good when it comes to snowmobiling. For example, the Rivian is much better suited to holding rectangular objects, with the bed sides at 90 degree angles and a bed length with the tailgate down at exactly 7 feet, which turns out isn't quite enough for a sled as big as the Taiga Nomad. It is secure, the Nomad weighs about 750 pounds and most of that weight is in the front, but there's just a tad more track sticking out the back than I would like. The tailgate can hold 1,000 pounds, but it still just looks a little bit sketchy, which would be not ideal driving down the freeway. One thing we do have to keep in mind though is that on snowmobiles they have carbide blades running along the length of the skis acting like rudders so they can pass over asphalt or concrete without dissolving the ski or sanding it all away. And that carbide tip is a level 9 on most scale of hardness right there next to diamonds and it will demolish anything in its path including asphalt and truck beds leaving deeper grooves wherever it goes. And it looks like with the Rivian, the carbides are still dicing up the bed a little bit. But these raised lips in the center do keep the carbides off of the interior. It's just this uh, lip right here that's getting jacked up. The Ford Lightning has a slightly longer bed with the tailgate dropped at 7 feet 7 inches. And that 7 inches really matters. The Taiga fits much better in the back of the Lightning. The Lightning, though, only has a tailgate that supports about 600 pounds, so we are pushing the limits by having a snow machine in the back. The truck bed of the Lightning, even after having loaded the snowmobile in twice, is pretty well scratched up, so we're gonna put a piece of plywood down in the Cyber Truck to protect the bed since it's not mine, and it's never a good idea to damage another man's truck. Total bed length with the tailgate down is eight feet half an inch which is much longer than the other two. That sheet of plywood fits perfectly. There's a little bit of overhang, but this is normal when putting a sled in a truck, and the overhang on this is substantially less than the other two electric trucks, the Lightning and the Rivian. And I think we are the very first people to ever put an electric snowmobile in the back of a Cybertruck. Let's, uh, let's take it out. So Cambry, now that you've been in the Cybertruck for a minute, what are your thoughts? First time driving in it. I'm still assessing everything. <laughs> I think I like the angles from inside. It's more spacious in here than I thought it would be from like looking at the outside. It just looks like it's kind of cramped. And then as I like look around, it almost feels like we're in a car, not a truck. Yeah. But I'm high off the ground, so it's a little confusing for me to figure out. I think I like it. Official verdict from Cambridge. I think I like it. <laughs> <laughs> would you drive one yourself knowing how much of an eyeball magnet it is? I think it'll just be like the Tesla Model X. Like initially driving it, anytime I would open up the back doors and the wings would come up, people would stop and be like, what is that? I like it, but I think in like six months time, there'll be enough of them on the road that people won't be too shocked. Yeah, that's true.
When was the last time you were on a snowmobile? 16 years ago. So it's been, <laughs> wow. All right, here we go. You'll have to give us uh, your full review after the ride's over. Deal. drive on the way back? Yeah, I think on the real roads. Yeah, Cambria hates being cold though, so that's that's a real thing. Mm -hmm. So these have, they're fully electric. They have a 60 mile range. We're gonna test that out later, not today. And the nice thing about it is that the Cybertruck can also charge these up with the 240 volt plug in the back. So we'll try that when we get back down the mountain. Um, we've only used about 10% today. So it'll be interesting doing the real test when we're finally back. But uh, 120 horsepower, zero to 60 in I think three seconds. I'll have to double check that, but these things are powerful. Extremely heavy at 750 pounds, but very powerful. I've wanted one of these machines ever since I first saw them two years ago, and now we have two of them, so expect a full review coming very soon. Taiga is offering a $500 discount to anyone purchasing a Taiga Nomad or Orca electric jet ski. Just put in the referral code JerryRig at checkout. And since these machines are mine, we'll be performing a full range and 1,000 pound towing test like I always do. I think the only thing that could make this better is if there was a drive through hot chocolate shop. <laughs> at the top of the mountain. Like a shack that has hot chocolate and you just drive through. Back to the Cybertruck. That was your first drive. It was way easier than I thought. How was controlling it on the snow? I was a little nervous at first because like my hands helped balance myself and then I had to like balance the snowmobile, but it only took like two minutes and I got to do that. Cool. Thirty amps. And there you have it, the Cybertruck can indeed carry a snowmobile probably better than any other electric truck out there because of the weirdly shaped bed, which is kind of cool. Thanks, Dom, for watching, and I'll see you around.